method that released a few months ago. I finished the game several times on release but still can't get enough of it, having beaten it well over 6 times now on every imaginable difficulty setting and self-imposed settings like 0% once on hard. Nintendo recently released a one-hit KO mode called Dread Mode, so even they create replayability, but we all know what the ultimate replayability factor is here. It's randomizers. I love them and played a bunch of them already, ranging from Super Metroid to Dark Souls, Zelda and even Diddy Kong Racing. With Randomania 4.0, this amazing randomizer added Metroid Dread as an experimental game. But since it's early, it's not as easy to set up as one might hope. So here is a quick tutorial on how to set it up. First, you obviously need the game Metroid Dread on PC and with that I can't help you for obvious reasons. Dump your own game or do what we don't talk about here. Next up would be an emulator. I recommend Rio Jinx since it can easily extract the game to its ROMFS folder if you didn't already do this while dumping your own game. In order to do this, first set up a game directory on Rio Jinx to make it show up and extract the game to ROMFS by right clicking it. While you are at it, open the mod folder and create a Randomania folder. Last but not least, the Randomizer. The official release doesn't include the patcher for Metroid Dread yet, so we have to get a dev build. Download links can be easily accessed in the Randomania Discord. To download it, you need a GitHub account. It is also necessary to have the beta tester role in order to start a dev build. Just navigate to the roles channel in their discord and react to the message that is about the beta tester. Finally we can start Wondervania. Click login with discord and authorize it. Make sure to check experimental games under advance for Metroid Dread to show up. On the Generate Game tab, you can create a randomized game. You may customize the preset, changing what tricks the randomizer expects you to do, toggle progressive items such as beams and suits, make all elevators go to random places and much more. Just hit Generate to create a seed. It may fail at times, but you can just try it again or adjust your settings until it works. The last step would be exporting the game. Input file refers to the ROMFS folder of Metroid Dread you extracted already. Output file should go to the Renovania folder inside Metroid Dread mods folder that you created before. Just click accept and hope it works. And with that, you are done. All there is left for you to do is start the game in Rio Jinx and have a blast. Thanks for watching.